Well, that's part of the course we're going on this morning. Yes, point to pinnacle day again. Fifth time I'm doing this. I'm just going to go over the first kilometre of it in reverse, if you know what I mean. So basically we come up through here. It's going to be fairly tight in this corner, and then we just go up. First 10 k's is basically up with a couple of little downs, and then the last 10, that's 11 or 12 k's is pretty much straight up. Hopefully we'll get a clear view of the mountain soon enough. It's a bit cloudy. It's uh, 12 degrees apparently this morning in, on, at sea level. Last time I checked the temperature at, on the top of the mountain, it was 3. So it's, uh, it's a typical day. Uh, looks as though we will be going to the top, so cool conditions will prevail today. Going through the suburb of Sandy Bay. Very trendy suburb as you can see. See the bay? So we'll be running on this side of the road through the first kilometre. Fortunately, they used to have an alternate course which came back this way. And unfortunately what happened is a lot of the motorists got pissed. People think it was, uh, would have been, I think it was two years ago now. And uh, well, the motorists got pissed, they came up with an alternative anyway. I don't think that's going to be required today, which is a good thing. So we passed the bike shop. This is another little corner. Again, it's it's a bit winding. This is really the twisty part, but again, it's it's basically uphill from the start, as you will see. This is the fifth year I've done this, as you can, as I've said. This is just basically a bit of fun. Well. Half fun, half, you could, you could say it's a bit of comrades preparation because, uh, you know, now that I've qualified, I can start thinking about how I'm going to prepare for it. Uh, now, the plan, of course, is the plan initially was to do this and then have a rest, have a rest for six weeks, but of course the next week we're going to be doing a bit of training in, not exactly training to say, run training to say, I'm probably just going to do some gym work in Melbourne just to try and stave off fatness, <laughs> as if that's going to happen, oh no, I'll be alright, as long as I don't eat too much, I'll be fine, but uh, yeah, it's going to be an uh, interesting week, and then I've got another week off work, which I'll probably just chill, but again, as long as I don't eat too much, everything will be fine. As you can tell, the fuel, the fuel discounts haven't quite... Uh, hit this area, low hanging cloud over the mountain, hopefully that will clear. Doesn't look as though it's going to be threatening with rain today. Well, it's forecast to clear up so it should be okay. So you can see they're already setting up the course down there in the distance. I'm expecting to get up, I'm expecting to finish somewhere around just between two and a half and three hours. The plan will be fairly simple as it has been the last few years. You know, you try and get through the first 10k to the foot of the climb, foot of the big climb, I should say, as quick as poss. And then what we'll do, by that time, we should be, should catch up with the walkers because for those of you unfamiliar with this, there's a walking and there's, there's, a, there's a section for walkers and a section for runners, and the section for walkers take off an hour before the section for runners. So by that time, we should catch up with a lot of the, with a few of the walkers. And then what we'll do is we can then walk in between and say hello and check how they're going and all that sort of thing. I'll just cross the road here because it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky getting across the other way. <laughs> Might even take it from the other angle. I'll run down <laughs> half a warm up. I'll still have strap my knee and all that sort of thing at, at rest point, but I'll do it at rest point because it's a bit warmer, a bit easier. There's the obligatory post, sorry, post plug. Um, <laughs> so, yep, oh, good to see that pizza place. So, I might pop into that pizza place on Monday. So, I'm still here on Monday, so I don't get back to the mainland until Tuesday, as I've got two weeks off work. Um, so, I'll we'll wander down here and yeah, it's a cool morning, but there's no breeze about, which is good. We're not a lot of breeze about, it's just naturally cool. That's what we're running for. I'll see the banner. 
I think, I'm trying to remember, I think it's uh, the 24th year that it's run in its current guise. Of course, there was a history lesson a long time ago that said, uh, you know, it was a, uh, there was an initial run of about 10 guys there, but they had to find their own way up the top, up to the top and all that sort of thing. So, and some of them didn't exactly make it, as in make it back alive. I mean, it was primitive conditions, but you know, everything was uh, everything was sweet. Got the traffic controllers; they're doing their job. Gear bus, well, not exactly a gear bus. Tasmanian buses; they're very different beasts. Except, don't one tip with the Tasmanian buses: uh, just do not take, do not give them a twenty dollar note because the drivers get pissed off. I tried that the first year I got here, and they didn't. He wasn't ex the driver wasn't exactly happy. So I won't worry about that too much. Yeah, and the road it's not certainly not a flat city if you if you're wondering. It's uh you know very it's always undulating. I mean it's a good day after this, you know, you can walk up and down hills and the legs can recover a little bit. I generally can recover a little bit, the knee will feel a little bit, knees will feel a little bit sore, but and I'll strap them up and everything. So as you can tell, you know, it's, it's a bit of a roller coaster first first little bit. The key is not to, not to I don't have to spend too much energy going up and down these hills, but at the same time you don't want to go too slowly because you need a bit of momentum. Going up Davy Road, Davy Road, I think it's one Pillinger going Davy Road and one road and can't remember the names of the streets, but anyway. Uh, not Pillinger Drive, Pillinger Drive, I think it's near close to the uh, the mountain itself, so you know it's that's actually a fairly tricky bit when you head to the top because because the climb it, it it's fairly abrupt. You go, I think you think you get to a turning point and it's a left right hand hairpin type turn and then you and then the climb basically starts from there. So it's like bang, just like that. Um, you might be wondering, yeah, this might be a comrades type training run. You could say it's a comrades type training run as we passing McDonald's. Uh, you might say it's a comrades type training run, but uh, today, uh, but I'm not exactly concentrating on it. Um, climbing like this will help. It hasn't helped that Mount Arch has closed again. Uh, they're still fixing the road from the cyclone three years ago. One wonders why they didn't fix it properly in the first place, but that won't be open until March. Not such a bad thing, because then only you know, after March, March and April, I can do a bit of climbing. Because it's an up run next year, you have to do a bit of climbing. Auckland doing the qualifying Auckland will also help. Not so much in the physical sense, but probably more mentally. Being able to conquer the first 16 k's of those climbs. The first 16 k's are not too dissimilar in some ways to the first 10 k's here. Obviously, the first 10 k's here I think is a little bit steeper in some climbs, that the climbs are a bit longer and steeper, whereas the climbs in Auckland were a bit sharp, the hills in Auckland a bit sharper. They didn't last as long and the conditions were a bit wetter. So you can see we're heading somewhere up there in that very low cloud. That will hopefully burn off. We hopefully we don't have to run with the head in the clouds. Although that would be a bit of a, a weird feeling. Um, heading down, yeah, man, this, this little uphill it gets a few people. A lot of people try and tear up this hill a bit quickly. Personally, it needs to just, just got to slow down a bit and make sure everything's right and get into a nice rhythm and then go from there. As you can tell, I've done this a few times before. Um, what else can I ring on about? Me? If you guys are walking there, I'll figure out a coffee. Um, yeah, so we're heading up towards the start line. Still a few hundred metres away, the casino. I was, I'm very fortunate that, the, that my, where I'm staying in the city is fairly much walking distance. It's been a couple of years where I've stayed in North Hobart and I've had to get a cab. 
trying to be a bit budget conscious, as you can see. I'm trying to be a bit budget conscious. Uh, not say so money's tight. I've got money's not so much an issue, but I'm trying to conserve as much of it as possible. You know, I've got a lot of things to get. I've got to get a new laptop, amongst other things, because the other one's, you know, about to crap its stacks. Um, yeah, this is a fairly. Uh, this is this is more like an Auckland type climb. This one, but we're going downhill now, so as you can tell, we're going to go back up that way. Fairly short, fairly short, fairly sharp. Takes a bit out of the legs. So you've got to, it's got to, it's just got to be a bit. It's got to be a bit smart about it. Don't want to be uh, going like an Olympic sprinter. Just get a nice little stride pattern. Stay with a nice little group and try and stay with a nice little group until about 10k and. You know, taking a drink every now and again. Well, I'm not necessarily worried about fluids until we get onto the climb. Once we get on the climb, I might be a bit more worried about it. I mean, I'm not. I'm still tossing out whether to carry a bottle with me or just leave them in the bag or consume them before the run. I'll probably decide that next half hour. I mean, it's only about 5:30ish in the morning, which is 4:30 in Queensland for those of you watching. Past Utahs, Uni Campus. Um, Uni Campus, they do have posts up here, but they do have rugby league posts, but there's no organised rugby league competition, apparently. So, I think there's a rugby union comp, but I'm not sure if I, Yeah, certainly no rugby league comp, hasn't been for years. And of course, there's a cricket oval there. Tempted to go, tempted to do Sheffield Shield on the uh, Monday, but on the on the Monday, but you know it's a bit a uh, bit far away to walk because Bellrie's on the other side of the river, so you can see through there. There's the river. Battery Point, her back to city, so we're about the casino's just up there, which is where the start line is. I do like sitting with the boats and everything. I think there's construction works going on somewhere, but I'm not so sure where. There'll be plenty of people out. Probably this probably later this morning. Looks an even decent day to be out here. As long as it don't get too rough. Um, so after this, uh, naturally on the site, there will be... Uh, Updates on what my next year's schedule will be. I've sort of planned everything until June, maybe even July, even Gold Coast after that, but I've planned everything leading up to Comrades next year, so that's that's the beauty of having qualified. I mean, you don't have to stuff around with your uh, procedures and your methodology. I mean, my methodology will change a little bit because taking a little bit of advice from the official coach probably in terms of more in terms of what I'm going to be running rather than rather than volumes and what not rather than volumes and actual races probably more helping with the training side of things hopefully I'll be up, hopefully I can work out some sleep patterns to get, get up and time to not let work be a uh, determining factor of how many times a week I run. I suppose that is a challenge to get enough sleep and then get up early enough and get the training in and get the Ks in the legs. Got 700 Ks in last time when I get more than about eight, more than I get a lot more than that when I get close to 1,000 Ks in before the day. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, the course, it's a bit... <laughs> undulating in some ways up and down at the start so again as I, as I said you just got to be a bit careful not to spend your energy it's a slight downhill so you don't want to be exactly sprinting it now they're already putting up the banners and everything it's a very good morning for it but I suppose the fact that they're out in shirt sleeves is a good sign it's not overly cold I'm just wearing the jacket because well, I just need to, well, I need, well, can't really be bothered carrying it in the bag and 
I think it's going to be a bit cooler this morning down here so I'll warm up and then I'll put my gear in the bus and all that sort of thing but yeah heading up to the first corner at the rest at the rest point it'll get a bit hectic around here in the next few hours because you know you have cars trying to get in and out of the joint and people trying to find a parking spot and all that sort of business and you know when they try when they eventually find that parking spot they'll then got to walk in and do all that sort of business and find the spots and what not so start lines here fairly winding <laughs> not like exactly a straight start line it's going to negotiate a couple of turns so you've got to be positioned like somewhere near the middle of the road you don't want to be positioned on the inside of one part of the road a few of the course cars there this looks like the minis are still about um and you gotta go in and out, in and out, you gotta phase in and out, left and right. And show a bit of caution through here actually. That's where we're headed. That's where that's headed. I'm sure that's one of the spectator buses. There's only two spectator buses going up the top. So there's not a lot of there'll be a few spectators just before we hit the climb. But and they'll be they're starting to gather already. So that's where the start line is. That's the casino. Run through there. Run through there. It's a fairly it's a fairly congested start area, so we're crossing the line fairly quickly. Cross the line fairly quickly, straight through there. Straight through there. Wait for the tail bus to go through. this way um, straight through there just to get an idea of how narrow it is of course the water in here and on the water's edge so it's a fairly idyllic start to one um, and through there along the straight and we're on our way Again, as long as we don't sprint to start, everything will be fine. So basically that's what we're going to be doing this morning. Uh, hopefully we'll see you a little bit later on today. And probably film another video at the top and we'll see how life is at the top. And make sure it's not lonely and all that sort of thing. And, you know, hopefully we'll, have, we'll have go out, we'll have a bit of fun. Talk to some locals and go from there. Thanks, guys.